Let's try that again. How you guys feeling on this beautiful, hey, hey, hey. It's Sunday, you're in the USA. On the count of three, everybody say freedom at the top of your lungs. One, two, three. Freedom! That's what it's about, right? It's about freedom. Raise your hand if you want more freedom in 2024. Yeah. So I appreciate that introduction. Um, I don't consider myself a speaker. I speak a lot, but I don't consider myself um, a speaker. I've been in business um, since I was probably 14 years old, you know, baking cookies in Columbus, Ohio, in the kitchen and selling them uh, in the study halls in uh, Columbus, Ohio at Bexley, Bexley High School. But I'll tell you guys right now, after traveling over 76 countries around the world in the last 10 years, working with over a million people, um, obviously made a, a good amount of money, helped a lot of people, but I've found kind of like the blueprint in, in the rules to success, whether you're in mortgage. How many of y'all are in mortgages? Make some noise if you're in mortgages. Yeah, 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 yeah right? Re anybody, anybody real estate? Who's in real estate? Real estate, right? Anybody sales related? Anybody in sales? Okay. Make some noise if you're a human being. Make some noise if you're a human. Yeah, there we go. Right? There, there are specific rules that when you learn these rules and you live your life a certain way, you, you will go out there and you will win. And if you don't live your life by these certain rules, you will continually hit your head on the wall over and over and over and over and over again and never get to where you want to go. And I'm here today for the next little bit of time uh, to share some insight with you on how you can really win in 2024. Because I know for a fact that a lot of people, most people right now, they're complaining. Make some noise if uh, you know some people in your life are complaining about the economy, right? <laughs> complaining about the president, complaining about the world, complaining about the wars and the, the, the pandemics and the diseases and all this nonsense that really doesn't even matter. You see, I was mentored by the greatest teacher to ever teach. His name is Bob Proctor. Make some noise if y'all know Bob Proctor, right? And he said, Alex, never let anything in the external world get into your internal world. He said, you control you. He said, you control the things you think. You control the actions you take, the habits you build, the philosophies you live by, and never let the outside world get into you and take control of you. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit here today, but I want you guys to hear this message really quick. You create your own reality. How many of you agree with that statement? Say yes, okay? You really do. You know, you look at somebody like Albert and Syl, this family they built, the businesses, this empire, it's amazing, guys. Give a round of applause to Albert and Syl and this whole family, come on. Come on, y'all can do better than that. Make some noise. Yeah. For the, the first Mexican-American billionaires over there, right? That's what's going on. So I'm gonna talk about uh, your seven, seven steps to your first seven figures per year. I only show this slide so you pay attention. Because I know there's lots of speakers and gurus and social media stuff out there. Uh, and, and the truth is, very few people actually really built anything. Like people say, Alex, how do I become a speaker? How do, I, how, do I get, how do I get paid 50 grand to go do keynote talks all over the world? How do I do that? I said, dude, you don't try to become a speaker. You create success, and then eventually people will pay you to speak. Does that make sense? Right? You know, when, when you hear from people like Wires Only, and you hear from people like Albert, you hear from people like yesterday, Wes Watson, these, these are men, and also women have been on this stage as well, that have done a lot in their lives. And I only talk about money so you know if this guy from a middle-class family in Columbus, Ohio, two pizza parlors, two ice cream shops, and go out there and become a multimillionaire and travel the world, so can you. And you live in the greatest country in the world when it comes to opportunity. Would you agree? Yeah. Of course you would, man. People are running across the border every damn second to get into America to make their dreams come true. And it's been brutal. It's been tough. I know the last three years have been pretty nasty, but the point is it's still better here than other places, right? Next weekend, I'm in Lima, Peru. 
They've already sold 3,500 tickets to Lima, Peru. You know why? Because in Peru, they are hungry for success. Everybody say hungry. Hungry. The next weekend, I'm in Monterrey, Mexico, right? Thousands of people. Not just to see me, a lot of other people. But my point is they're hungry for information. And they would give their left arm to be in America, to be in ambiance reality, to work with somebody like Albert, to get access to that mastermind he was talking about earlier today. So take advantage of the opportunity you have at the end of 2023 going into 2024, okay? So like I said, um, normal guy, 14 on the SAT score, applied to Oklahoma University when I was 18. They told me no. Everybody say no. Okay, I applied to Indiana University, they said no. I applied to Arizona State University. They said, are you breathing oxygen? I said, yes, and they said, you're accepted into ASU. When I went there, number one party school in the, in, in the country, and I was losing my mind, having a ton of fun, you know, doing the wrong stuff with the wrong people, but I always wanted to build a great life for me in my family, in my future family. Make some noise if you have a dream in here, you wanna build something special in your life for your family, right? Because that's what it's about. And I got into sales and leadership and marketing uh, in 2011. I was terrible at first, I sucked. Everybody told me no. Everybody said entrepreneurs are scam artists. You need to get a nine to five job. You need to go work at this company or that company. But I made a decision and I said, I'm gonna work for myself. I'm gonna work for myself. I'm gonna learn the rules of business. I'm gonna learn the rules of success and I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna make it happen. So number one, numero uno right here is you must decide the life you want to live. Not the life your neighbor wants to live, not the life Albert wants, wants to live. What do you really want? Because most people, Everyone's so focused on, oh, I need the perfect strategy and I need the sales script and I need to know how to overcome objections and handle rebuttals and you need all of those things. But if you don't get the fundamental stuff down first, none of that stuff even matters. Because some of the people I've worked with, they're not the smartest people in the world and they're making millions and millions of dollars all over the world, right, doing what they're doing. And you would say, well, how is it possible someone that never even went to college becomes a multimillionaire and this guy has, you know, a four-year degree from this prestigious university and they can barely keep food on the damn table? Because there's something out there called the spiritual side of success. I'm going to get into that here in a little bit. You look at, you look at driven, right? Driven, this driven idea at one point, it was just an idea. Would you agree? In, in, in Albert's mind. No, a lot of people didn't think, yeah, eight years later, you're going to have Grant Carnone and Patrick Bet David and Ed Milet and all these people speaking on your stage. Nobody believed in that. I know they didn't, but he believed in it. He had an idea. He said, I'm going to decide the life I'm going to live, and then I'm going to say no to everything else. So on your sheet of paper, get clear on what you want to do and accomplish and have and become by December 31st, 2023, and then start to think about 2024. I found this out a long time ago. Like I said, my biggest cheat codes to success have been the mentors of my life. The Bob Proctors, the M. Milets, Grant, the Grant Cardones, you know, looking at me and saying, hey, hey, young kid, I'm gonna teach you and show you and coach you and help you get to where it is you wanna go. Successful people, 2024 has already started. You guys hear that? These guys and girls are 90, they're, they're Kevin Hart, right? Kevin Hart, I read, uh, it was either his book or a, a podcast episode. He said, I don't know if it was Jay Shetty, he was getting interviewed by somebody. And he said, my team at Hart Productions knows what I'm doing today in 2026. Does that make sense? Successful people plan the future way before it shows up. You know, some of you, you don't even know what you're eating for breakfast tomorrow, man. Like we have, to, we have to understand if we wanna have that big life, we have to start to do the things that the people that have the big lives already do. Model yourself after people that have what you want. So get clear. How many of you know the dream car you wanna drive? By a show of hands. Okay, what's the car, sir? What is it? Lamborghini. Lamborghini. Amazing, Lamborghini. What color is it? 
Red. What's the interior color? Black. Black interior. What city are you driving it in? Miami. Miami. I love Miami too. 305, right? Okay. You're driving in Miami, right? Look next to you. Who's sitting next to you? Pablo and Angela, amazing. Is there, what's the weather outside? It's nice and humid. Nice and humid, yeah, it probably is nice and humid. <laughs> is there a song playing in the radio? Uh, my Apple Music. Apple Music, what, who's, who's, who's singing? Bad Bunny, Drake? Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny. I knew you were going to say Bad Bunny because you said Miami. <laughs> so do you see the difference here though? Like, let's, let's get the lesson, ready? Dream car, Lamborghini. No, dream car, red Lamborghini. Black inside, Bad Bunny singing, my homie's next to me, right? I'm driving in Miami, 305, cruising down the street. Sun, sun, sun is shining on the damn car. So we just took a Lamborghini Gold and made it a mental movie. Does that make sense? Guys, I was in slow math for four years. I was in Spanish one three and a half times. You don't need to be smart to make a lot of money. If people have told you that, they're lying to you. I'm going to say some stuff up here over the next... 37 minutes, that's going to offend some of you. Some of you are going to be like, you know what, man, I don't even like this guy. I don't like the color of his jacket. I don't like his shoes. I don't even like this dude. I'm not here, I'm not here for you to like me, man. I'm here to give you some of the things that other people aren't going to give you because these things aren't taught in most people's family dinners. They're not taught in any public universities. You're either, you either have multi-multi-millionaire parents that show you how to win or you get access to mentors and coaches and people that know what the hell they're talking about. You get the information and you apply it into your life. So number one, again, define what success means to you, okay? Success is a progressive realization of a worthy ideal, okay? It is whatever you want it to be. Don't let social media decide what success is for you. You must decide and get clear on the life you want to create. I can't hammer this stronger than I'm hammering it right now, okay? So, so raise your hand if you now know the life you want to build and create. Because if you don't even know that, why are you here? What's the damn point? I saw these ticket prices. Shit's expensive, man. It ain't cheap. Inflation's up. Y'all, some of you live in California. Everything's expensive out here. I mean, damn, from the airport down here, it was $211, man. I'm thinking, shit, dude, this is expensive out here, right? You got to know what your crew, because if not, why are you even waking up in the morning? If I could interview right here, Denzel Washington, Kevin Hart, Oprah Winfrey, okay, Obama, Trump, whoever, anyone, Kardashian, Jenner. You don't think Kim Kardashian knows the strategy and the blueprint and the game plan and what she wants to create? Y'all just see what she did with Skims? She just signed the deal with, uh, what is it, M NFL or NBA? I'm thinking this girl, holy shit, man. And she's Armenian like me, so I'm like, Armenians, let's go, right? But it's crazy. Like, she had Skims on a sheet of paper, but then she had the entire game plan ready to roll. That's what you have to do with your life, with your mortgage business, your real estate business, right? Oh, rates are so high. Who cares? No one's buying. They're buying. My cousins, Max and Ryan Farbstein, look them up on Instagram. They're making millions a year selling real estate in Miami, Florida. You're in LA, man. There's a lot of money out here. You got to go find these people. Don't blame the economy. No one's buying real estate. You're not talking to anybody. You're not building a brand. Who are the biggest real estate guys in the country? I don't know for sure, but Ryan Serhant's a big name. Josh Altman's a big name. What do both of them do every day for their real estate business? They post on social. You got to build a brand. He heard from my good friend Dan Fleischman yesterday, the, the number one guru in the world probably in social media marketing. He said, even if you're not building a brand, you're still building a brand, just no one knows about you. Does that make sense? Everything is digital, you guys. Everything is digital. You're digital. Pretty soon we're gonna have holograms of you and AI, half AI bots of you. Okay, make sure you're showing the world who you are, what you do, what you stand for, so you can get more business. Number two, all right, choose a vehicle that has unlimited earning potential. Everybody say limitless. Real estate.
estate, mortgage, sales, e-commerce platforms, whatever it is you're doing, unlimited earning potential. And then the second step there is, again, getting clear and setting a goal. You see, if, if I took you in my uh, office in Vegas or Miami, you would see journals everywhere because I'm always writing stuff down, physically writing things down, okay? Something special happens when you take a pen and you write out goals on a sheet of paper. When I was 18 years old, eating ramen noodles at Arizona State University in a tiny ass dorm room, sharing one sink and one nasty toilet with four other guys, I was writing down goals in a journal because successful people in my life, multimillionaires said, Alex, Write down what you want. I said, why do I need to write it down? They said, because when you write it down, something special happens. And I had enough humility to say, you know what? I'm broke. You're not. I'm going to listen. Yeah. Here's something. A lot of people, too much pride and too much ego, man. Even for me. Like, it's unbelievable. I get, my wife does a great job. She brings me right back down to earth. I'll, I'll, say, I'll share something about a check or money or income and I'll say something and she'll, she'll say, compared to who? That's a lot of money compared to who? Who are you comparing? What are you comparing this to? And I can take you from where I'm from and show you a million dollars is not even weekend money in Dubai or Abu Dhabi or Qatar. Like, compared to who? I made 400 grand last year. I don't need to listen to Albert. I made 400 grand last year. Who cares? You might have made 4 million last year. Okay. We, not, me, not you, we always need to know one thing. We can always learn from other people. Wouldn't you agree with that? Always learn. Always seek information and knowledge from other people. Okay. You want to be the best artist in the world, steal, man. Steal the information and use it in your own life. So when I talk about writing goals down, this is what I did. I didn't even have a car at 21 years old, and I wrote down Rolls-Royce Wraith. And then it was a Rolls-Royce Cullinan. And I wanted to go live in the Porsche Tower in Miami. I wanted to go live in a building that charges $25,000 a month rent when my rent was $450 a month at Arizona State University. And all of these things came to pass in my life. So if you need proof of this, I'm giving you proof right now. And if you don't want to hear it from me, go study Diddy, Conor McGregor, Chris Jenner, anybody that's ever done anything of any consequence, they all said what? I saw it in my mind, I put it on paper, and then I built it. Does that make sense? Everything happens three times. How many times? Three times, mind, paper, physical reality. And you write it down in present tense. This is the trick. Because people say, oh, Lamborghini. I want a Lamborghini. I want a Lamborghini. I want a Lamborghini. Well, if you, I want me, it's always in the future. Right? I'm so happy and grateful now that I am driving a Lamborghini. I'm so happy and grateful now that I am a millionaire. I'm so happy and grateful now that I am building an international business all over the planet, changing the world. Make sense here? Stop throwing your goals into the future. And some of you say, oh man, this is that positive thinking bullshit. That stuff doesn't work. Dude, you don't work. You don't work. <laughs> no, you don't work. How's your way been working, man? And again, I'm, I'm your friend, but somebody knocked me in the mouth when I was 21 years old. People need tough love sometimes, man. Your team, you're the leader of a team. How many of you lead people in your business? Any leaders in here? Well over half the room. You must lead by example and get people not what they want to hear, what they need to hear sometimes. That makes sense? Everything's so soft. Everything, everything's offensive. Everything's racist and discrimination. It's like, bro, America was built with immigrants. Everybody's an immigrant. I mean, what the hell? Like... Stop being so soft and getting offended by just nonsense. Like so many people are weak outside of these doors. If you just give 10% more effort, dude, you'll become a multimillionaire. It's a joke how easy it is in 2023. Oh my God, oh my, I can't eat this, I can't eat that. I, you know, I don't say this, don't say that. You know, I'm waving a flag for this country. That, I, can't even, I can't even say the country's name, but I'm gonna go out there and, and protest for this and that. It's like, dude, why don't you go make some money for you and your family? 
That's what we should do. We're so concerned with nonsense. You guys see that new statistic? It said people that are obsessed with celebrities are inherently less intellectual than other people. This is my thing to you. You can go be the next whoever you want to go be. Does that make sense? You can go do it, Albert and Syl and RD and myself or whoever. You can go be the next Kris Jenner. Why not, dude? She, she's a human being. She puts her pants on just like everybody else. You have to think differently and write down your goals in present tense. How many of you guys got a goal you wrote down for 2024? Like, I'm so happy and grateful now that I am something. How many of you? Because, yeah, you know I'm going to ask you to say it. Will you say it out loud, sir? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Amazing. So do you have a goal for 2024? Okay, say it. Can you say it like that for me, though? I am. I am an owner, right? There you go. Give this guy a round of applause. Yeah. And, and, and listen, that takes guts. Would you agree? Some of you, you're scared to death to do what he just did. Just stand up and just, it's like, dude, you got to get over that, man. What are we so scared of? Right? When, who, when did you decide to be an introvert? I'm an introvert. I, I don't consider myself an extrovert. You saw me, you know, I don't know, in private or public, whatever. I'm not, I'm, I, I consider myself a pretty, like, keep to me in tight circle, close circle. I don't like being with shit tons of people anymore like I used to when I was a kid in college. I don't like that stuff. Right? So you can be shy, but the two hours per day you're building your business, have enthusiasm. Talk to people. And you guys in here that are paid on commissions, talk to more people. When you go to Starbucks, talk to people. Does that make sense? Talk to people. My videographer in here, Dar, he's running around with the camera. He does a lot of different businesses. We just had, we just had brunch over here and he was telling me, I said, hey man, how are you meeting all these successful people? He goes, dude, everywhere I go, I talk to people. He goes, if I see somebody with a nice watch, I'm like, hey man, dope AP, dope Rolex, cool Apple watch. He starts conversations with people. You want to get good at talking to people? Go talk to 50 people tomorrow. Go to the mall and talk to 50 people. Get told no about your business 50 times and the 50, 51st time you're going to be better at that. Does that make sense? Because there's skills you must get better at in your business. If you're in real, guys, every, people are always buying real estate, man. Like the complaints and the excuses, I'm, I'm sorry, it's just ridiculous. Like, it's unbelievable. And if everyone else is complaining, you should be murdering it. You should be dominating the space where everyone else is complaining and whining and bitching. You are taking full advantage of it and going harder than everybody else and taking all the business. And that's a mindset you got to get into. Number three. Make sure you're listening to the right people. Make sure you're following the right people on social media. Make sure you're in the right rooms. Obviously, you're in a phenomenal room right here. I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on getting in the right rooms. Before I ever got to speak at Grant's GrowthCon events, you know what I had to do to make sure he even knew who the hell I was? Spend some dough, shake the guy's hand, make friends with his wife, Elena. That's what you do. You think Albert just has 24 free hours a day to go play patty cake with you at Starbucks? He's a busy ass dude, man. I am too. I mean, that is just the way it works. You know, last, last year, 75 grand to Ed Milet. You would say, why did you pay Ed Milet 75 grand? I, for what did you get? Uh, I got one phone call and I got 15 minutes with him in Miami in person. Was it worth it? Uh, yeah, it was definitely worth it. Would you spend 75 grand to make 750 grand? Yes or yes? Of course you would, right? Some of you, you're, you're getting so caught up on pennies when you should be focused on $100 bills. Does that make sense? Change your thinking. Change, easy for you to say, multi-millionaire, da, 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 da. Dude, I was broker than hell. I was, I told you, ramen noodles, Taco Bell was my dinner every night, freshman and sophomore year of college. Cheesy bean rice burrito, no fiesta salsa. Water cup. I would take the water cup, I'd go to the soft drink fountain thing, and I would steal iced tea 
and save $2 and like 14 cents. True story. I can't make this stuff up. I wrote about it. It's in a book. It's all right there. I'm telling you. But even when I was broke, I was thinking to myself, I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm a millionaire. I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm a millionaire. And eventually people would meet me and they would think I had way more money than I did. Because my self-image was up here. My bank account was right here. So many people think, I'll act like that when I have the money. Wrong. What shows up first? A great positive mental attitude or a Lamborghini? Attitude. What shows up first? A great mental image or a Rolls Royce? Mental image. That's how it works. Everything in this room was built in the mind of somebody else. Would you agree with that statement? Right? Is there anything in this room that did not begin in the mind of somebody else? The hotel, the iPhone, the timer, the microphones, every brand you see. So they were all like driven. It was all an idea. Okay, plant the idea in your mind of the person you want to become and make sure you're following people with real results. Everybody say real. Real. Before I, before I take advice from somebody, dude, I'm checking. I'm like, yo, what are you driving? Where are you living? How's your health? Health is a big deal now. It should have always been a big deal, but it's a bigger deal today than it was, I guess, 15, 20 years ago, right? Like, let me see your life. And I'm not saying you should, you should want to trade lives with anybody because you should never want to do that. But my mentor said, Alex, before you take advice from somebody, would you be willing to trade your life style? with that person. Well, I was at one of my mentors' house 48 hours ago in Vegas, and he just bought a G550 with his last name on the tail. So I, well, would I trade lifestyles with him? Uh, Yeah, because that's a lot better than Delta first class. Does that make sense? So think about right now, on a sheet of paper with your pen, who who are the five closest people you have in your life that you consider mentors? In person, YouTube. I got, I got YouTube mentors, man. I've never even met some of these people. It doesn't matter. Right? A lot of education out there is free in today's world. Are you following the right people? Are you following the right people on Instagram, TikTok? What, I post every single day. I posted every single day on Instagram since I got Instagram in whatever, 2000 and whatever the hell year it was, 2013, 2014. I spend probably 20, 30 Gs a month just to, just to post free content to help people. Do you watch it? Do you share it with your team or you're on there just watching a bunch of cat, cat videos and mean bullshit? I'm just being honest with you, right? You have to protect what goes on in your mind. So listen to the right people. Next up, this is a big one. You got to build a strong belief system, strong belief system, not a weak system, not a mediocre system, a strong belief system. What is a belief system? We're going to talk about what creates a belief system. Okay, very important stuff right here. Okay, our belief system is created by three things. How many things? Three. The things we see, hear, and experience. Okay, what do you call these right here? Eyes, right? Write down the word eyes on your sheet of paper. E-Y-E-S, okay? What word do you see in the word eyes? Say it again. Yes. Whatever you see is an automatic yes in your life. There's lots of power in words, man. A lot of power in words. So much. It's insane. Okay. Whatever you see is an automatic yes. You see poverty? Yes. You see, you see uh, Toyota Prius? Yes. You see Rolls Royce, Lamborghini, uh, G550, Ferrari, Chanel, Birkin, whatever the hell you want. I don't care what you want, but I'm telling you, whatever you see is an automatic yes. So what I used to do, going to Arizona State University, I would always ask the people, I said, hey, where do rich people go eat on Friday nights? Because I wasn't from Arizona. I grew up in a little town in Ohio. I said, where do rich people go eat on Friday nights? I started asking different people. Uh, I got into real estate at 18. I was asking some of these real estate guys. They said, there's this place called Mastro City Hall. Y'all know Mastro City Hall? Okay, a phenomenal place. Butter cake, warm butter cake, melts in your mouth. Super cool, right? And I would go to Mastro City Hall with no money in my pocket, walk in, go to the bar, sit there, make friends with the bartender, order, order cups of water. True story. And then I would look at rich people. That's what I used to do. I would say, what do they look like? 